Well, tonight, our closest neighbor in the sky did something very strange. That's right. In fact, it won't happen again in our lifetime. Take a look at this Venus cross between the Earth and the Sun at Butler's Holcomb Observatory. They watched the so-called transit of Venus as the planet looked like a black speck against the sun. Take a look at all those folks there. Our nightly reporter, David McAnally, is at Holcomb tonight to tell us about a Hamilton County family and why this is a cosmic event in their very quiet Quaker home. Dave. Andrea, the Stanley family, in fact, tonight had a celebration to mark the moment that their great-grandfather had his moment in the sun. On Westfield Union Street. I grew up hearing that he was always a visionary. An old photo shows the Hoosier who helped make photo history. He answered an ad in, the, in a newspaper. The Naval Department was looking for photographers. When his opportunity came on, he just jumped right on it. The mission photographed the planet Venus passing between Earth and the Sun, never shot before. In 1874, after two months training at the Naval Observatory in Washington, where the vice president now lives, 26-year-old Urban Stanley was ready for a journey to the cosmos. So they went on to the Kogelan Island. The USS Svatora dropped Urban Stanley and his small party in an out-of-the-world place. It's a desolation island. Basically, it's rocks. Captain Cook discovered them in, in 1776. But it would be this Hoosier's home for weeks, preparing for his transit with Venus. Build all of this, these sheds to, to keep the telescopes in. Set up their gear, cameras ready, because for all the months of planning... It's about six hours and 40 minutes to, to go across the sun. From their rock in the Indian Ocean, Stanley's team caught scenes like these, but with heavy clouds. The Kogelan Island only, only had 15 successful pictures. He would try it all again when Venus transited in 1882. Those close together transits happened just once a century. 